Hello everyone and welcome to your daily microcasting coronavirus update for March 28th, 2020. Let's get into what's going on with the virus. No new areas are infected today. That's good news. That's two days in a row now that no new areas are infected. Looking at the world map, you can see it looks exactly the same as yesterday. As a result, you can see no places um, that are new are infected on the map. That's good news. That's good to hear right now. All right, here are the global statistics. In total cases, we have 662,775 cases. My prediction was, based on a logarithmic scale, that we'd be at a million cases by the end of the month. Um, a little bit ago, I don't think we're quite going to get there. It'll either be on the March 31st or April 1st, I think. Um, but it'll be pretty borderline, and if not April 1st, it'll definitely be there by April 2nd. All right, so let's talk about closed cases. About 172,000 of our total cases are closed cases. 30,000 of those have been deaths. 141,000 of those have been recoveries. Of our active cases, 95% of people are doing well, and only 5% of those people are in serious or critical condition. When it comes to new cases, we have 66,409 new cases. When it comes to new deaths, we have 3,503 new deaths today. So let's start with the countries with the most new coronavirus infections. The U.S. Uh, has 123,000 infections total. Italy at 92,000. China at 81,000. As you can see, it's in red because the, the numbers really can't be trusted right now. Spain at 73,000. Germany at 57,000. France at 37,000. Um, Iran at 35,000, UK at 17,000, Switzerland at 14,000, and the Netherlands at 9,000. How many new cases have we had today? Well, in the United States, we've had 19,225. In Spain, about 7,000, about 7,000 in Germany, 6,000 in Italy, 4,000 in France, 3,000 in Iran, 2,500 in the UK, 1,800 in Belgium, 1,700 in Turkey, and 1,000 or so in the Netherlands. So the countries with the most deaths, again, you can see China highlighted in red because we really can't trust their numbers. They're probably higher than this. Italy at about 10,000. Spain at about 5,000. China at about 3,000. Again, if they can be trusted, Iran at about 2,000. France at about 2,000. U.S. at about 2,000. U.K. at about 1,000. Netherlands, 639. Germany at 433. And Belgium at 353. How many new deaths have we had in the past day? Well, in Italy, it's been 889. In Spain, it's been 844. In the U.S., it's been 515. In France, it's 319. In the U.K., it's 260. In Iran, it's 139. In the Netherlands, it's 93. In Germany, it's 82. In Belgium, it's 64. And in Switzerland, it's 33. So here's the world map. We're going to focus in a little more on the United States. Now, here's what the map's looking like. 52,000 of our 123,000 cases in the United States are in New York. Think about that for a second. Uh, about half of all cases in the United States are in the state of New York. New York's been exploding, and I think a part of that is because it does have the most populous city in the United States, New York City. And so the theory is that since so many people are basically on top of each other, this thing can just spread like wildfire through there. Um, and the reason why Los Angeles isn't like that is because while there are a lot of people, people aren't living on top of each other, I guess, quite as much. It's not quite as dense as New York City. Anyways, Andrew Cuomo is apparently considering a New York shutdown, so is President Trump. We'll see what does happen there, but that's definitely going to be an interesting development. 709 cases in the United States. Uh, I meant not in the United States, in Missouri, and we have 3,029 cases in Illinois. All right, let's take a look at USA statistics. We have 123,428 total cases. We have over 5,000 closed cases, 2,000 or so of those have been deaths, 3,000 or so have been recoveries. We have about a 41% death rate right now, uh, but that will go down drastically. Only 3% of people are in critical care right now, and that will go down with time. This is a... Um, this is not going to be the rate. The rate is currently expected to be around 1% in the United States, and even some people are saying that that estimation is too high. We've had 19,000 new cases today and 515 new deaths. How's the economy faring? Well, when it comes to the stock market, it's closed today. It'll be closed tomorrow. It's over the weekend. So we just move right on from the economy to what we can do to help stop the spread. Clean and disinfect frequently touch surfaces daily. On the daily. Um, it's It's critical that you do so, um, especially if you do have the virus. You do not want this spreading. This, this, is, uh, this is quite bad. You don't want this spreading at all. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks. 
um, surfaces are dirty. If they're dirty, you clean them, use detergent or soap or water prior to disinfection. Um, and that is important. What else can we do when it comes to disinfecting in more detail? The most common EPA registered household disinfectants will work. Use disinfectants appropriate for the surface. Options include diluting your household bleach to make the solution mix. Um, and you can see all the information there. Alcohol solutions and other common EPA registered household disinfectants. You can go to cdc.gov slash coronavirus in order to get more information on that. And you can get all the information that you would need about the coronavirus. All right, you can follow us on Facebook at Microcasting St. Louis or Microcasting Tropics, on Twitter at Microcasting STL or TRO, and on Instagram you can search Microcasting St. Louis or Tropical. All right, well, I hope the video did inform you in some way. I really do, because this is a crazy time. A lot of misinformation is going around. If you spot anything I can do to improve the video, please let me know in the comments below. I'm glad you watched this video. Thank you so much for doing so. You can subscribe so you never miss a new update on this channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. This is Microcasting, signing out.